Chris, of the 12 people that were on that van Saturday afternoon, one remains hospitalized here at Overland Park Regional Medical Center. Just a terrible tragedy. The family dealing with unimaginable grief. Brad Cox, the father of their family, did not survive the crash that sent their van rolling more than three times. I was in the hospital room when my aunt told the littlest girls that their daddy had died. And it was the most heartbreaking thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, one of the younger ones just kind of collapsed in my arms and it, it made me cry. Ashley Carey needs the community to support her family after a fatal accident that forever changed her family's life. The family was heading south on Highway 69 towards Fort Scott, Kansas for Thanksgiving get-together Saturday. That's when the back tire of their white 15-passenger van blew out, rolling the van more than three times. Brad Cox, a father of eight girls, died from his injuries. He would take the girls like on little day dates. Like he would take one girl out at a time and they would go do whatever they wanted. They'd go to dinner or um, like some of the girls like to go to the park so he would take them to the park or just whatever they wanted to do. Kerry says he worked for the Mid-Continent Public Library but he dedicated his life to his family. He really made it a point to make time for each and every single one of his girls and it was usually one-on-one. -on -one. Now his wife and eight girls have no father, no income, and no vehicle. They have very young children and now that they know that daddy's like not coming home but they don't understand why and it's really hard for them. Just a horrible tragedy. The funeral plans the family is finalizing, those will be set for early next week. Now every single person in the van was either in a car seat or wearing a seat belt which likely saved many lives. As for Cox's son-in-law who remains here hospitalized, he will be released once his condition improves. Reporting live in Overland Park, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News.